Hey YouTubers, today we're going to create this coffee bean from scratch in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the rectangle tool, draw out a rectangle. Next, we're going to go up to Effect, Stylize, Round Corners. Now by default, the preview is not selected, but you probably want to see it. So click Preview. This has the previous setting that I used, but it probably will look something like this. If it does, that's okay. Just bump it up to however you want your coffee bean to look. I'm going to click OK. But now we're going to go up to Object and hit Expand Appearance. Next, just grab your Pen tool and click and drag. Next, click outside of the bean down here somewhere. Click, drag. You're looking for a slight curve. Now right now, by default, since I had this black shape selected last, it makes the new shape have the same effect. We actually want a stroke. Flip, swap the fill and stroke, and then over in the swatches palette, or color palette, I'm going to click white because we need white. Direct selection tool, let's adjust this just a little bit. And in the stroke palette, let's bump this way up to whatever we want. And now in the profile, let's select this profile right here. Okay. If you want to, you can click and drag with the uh, selection tool and center these two objects. Okay, And if you want to bump up the point size, you can do that too, to whatever you want. Now if this is an icon, obviously it's going to be seen from far away, so make sure you zoom out and make sure it's how you want it to appear. I'm going to actually make this a little bigger. Um, if you don't have the wave as big as you want it to, something you can do is just click and drag this direction and it will make that wave bigger. Or we can go back to the way we had it. Either is fine. Now, if to, to uh, truly turn this into an icon, what we need to do, I'm hitting Option with both of those selected to make a copy, clicking and dragging. Uh, what we need to do is grab our stroke here, go to Object and Expand Appearance. That turns it into a shape. And as you can see, there's way too many points on this shape. So what we need to do is go up here to Object, Path, Simplify. Just do, you know, bumping this up to even 98, 97% will make a tremendous difference. Did you see that? Did you see all those points disappear? There was no need for those. This is what it was like before. We simplify, and now we have just a few points, and that's what you want. So click OK. Next, I'm going to select both of my objects for our final little ditty here. Go over to the Pathfinder palette and click minus front. BAM! If you found this video helpful in any way, please click like, subscribe, or leave a comment below.